And in case you missed it on Wednesday, the eighth ranked Davis and Elkins men's soccer team knocked off the 2021 national runners up from Charleston 2 to 1 in one of the biggest Division II soccer matchups of the year. With a capacity crowd on hand at Nuttall Field, it was the culmination of a massive building project for Senators coach Dean Johnson. And with the success of West Virginia and Marshall in Division I, as well as DE and Charleston in Division II, He's watched the Mountain State become a soccer state in short order. West Virginia at the moment seems like it's a soccer state, which for me is, is great. Um, I, I actually played in West Virginia a long time ago when I was in college, and I never thought I would say that, that it was a soccer state. So to see the progression of, of, the, of the teams, you know, us, Charleston, and then Marshall and WVU as well, I think it's been great as a whole for the state. And um, hopefully it can carry on and the teams keep doing well and, and keep promoting soccer here in West Virginia. It's been all about the process so far to bring the Senators to this point, starting on the recruiting trail. With talent that matches what some Division I programs are able to put on the pitch, d and &E looks like it's here to stay thanks to the ability of Johnson & Co. to identify talent. Brought in probably over 70 players now in the last two years that have come in and, and really brought the level up of the, of the program. So. I think the, the big part of it has been the recruiting side, bringing in better players and, and better student athletes that are here for the, for the right reasons, that want to compete and uh, potentially move on after, after DNE and play professionally. And we've, we've helped a lot of kids to, to do that and move on to better things. With a 4 0 start and a scoring margin over its opponents of 17 to 1 so far, the Senators will look to keep the momentum rolling on Wednesday at Frostburg State.